I feel like it's been so long since I filmed here. Like, in reality, it's been like two weeks since I filmed in this spot, but in my mind, I'm like, it's been 84 years. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite things from the month of May. I've got some beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and of course a handbag to share with you guys. I don't think this needs too much of an introduction, so let's just go ahead and get started. What was that? I don't know. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with some of my beauty favorites for the month. I'm going to start with something kind of weird weird to me anyway. It is this ice roller that I bought on Amazon. So I bought a jade roller last year. Use it every day. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but I used it and then it broke. So I had seen, I think it was, you guys probably follow her and if you don't, you should. I think it was the Bird's Papaya on Instagram. She was using an, I don't know if it was this exact one, but she was using an ice roller like this and like saying how good it felt in the morning. And I was like, you know what? I run hot, it's summer. It's, let me just pick one up. This was like $8 on Amazon, practically chump change, honestly. This thing is so awesome. You take the roller part off. Oh, come on. It's really easy, I'm just stupid. You take the roller part off and you keep this in the freezer and then in the morning or whenever you wanna use it, you just pop it back on and you just roll it all over your face. It feels so freaking good in the morning to just like wake everything up. I close my eyes and I roll over my eyes. I usually wake up and like go straight to my computer to start to do some work before I'm ready to like get ready for the day. I've been just popping this on and while I'm sitting there doing my work, just rolling it on my face. Again, I'm not sure like what the, beauty benefits of this is supposed to be, but I can tell you it feels so freaking good to just like ice your face first thing in the morning. Less than $10 on Amazon. I cannot recommend this thing enough. And it comes in a whole bunch of different colors too. So if you're not into this obnoxious pink, then you have other choices. Moving on to a hair product. This was actually recommended both by my stylist and the salon that she works for on Instagram. So I ended up ordering it. It is this, what is it called? Olaplex number no. eight Bond Intense Moisture Mask. Can we see that? Yeah. There's a hair stuck to that, that's classy. This is for all hair types. It's for moisturizing, smoothing, adding body and shine. I've been loving this. I've been using it once a week, like it says on the package container or whatever, the instructions. I've mentioned this before on my channel, I have super thin hair. My natural hair is a super thin, frizzy, wiry curl. If I just let my hair air dry, it looks super like limp and lifeless and just Blech, just no good. This stuff has really been helping with that. I've noticed I've let my hair dry, just air dry a couple times and it does give it a little bit more of a shine and more like something that I could style and just wear out if I just let my hair dry and don't bother blow drying it or whatever. And I think that it also just does help with the color of my hair as well. I do color my hair. It's a natural like mousy brown. I color it to this darker brown color. Anybody who colors their hair, you know that it starts to fade. This has definitely been helping with that. So I've been using it once a week for a few weeks now I definitely recommend it it's a little on the pricey side for hair stuff I think it was like 30 something dollars so I don't I don't know if it's like super worth that money but like I bought it and I like it I probably buy it again that's what I'm trying to say all right moving on to another hair product I don't tend to put a lot of stuff in my hair that's meant to like stay in my hair if that makes sense like I'll use shampoo conditioner obviously hair masks dry shampoo, that kind of stuff. But I don't really like use any kind of like finishing sprays or hairspray or gel or mousse or anything like that typically, just because it does tend to weigh my hair down. But I live in Pennsylvania, it's summertime, it's humid. So at this point of the year, I do if I'm going to not you know, throw my hair up in a messy, sweaty bun by the end of the day. If I want to keep my hair looking nice, I do need to use some sort of spray to hold it. Don't like to use hairspray because it weighs my hair down. Even the lightweight stuff weighs my hair down. This is my long-winded way of saying that my next favorite is this dry bar three-in-one finishing spray. It's called Triple Sec. The spray is an airy dry finishing spray, provides instant texture, volume, body for a tousled, sexy look. Come on, focus. The first time I ever used this stuff, I was actually in Vegas for my wedding last year. I went to Dry Bar to get a blowout and a little bit of a style for my rehearsal dinner. And the stylist used this in my hair. I ended up buying it. I ended up buying it because I was just so impressed. I've never had any kind of hairspray or finishing spray that didn't make me feel like my hair was weighing down on my ears or on my scalp. This stuff definitely does the job of keeping my hair in place. When I curl it, style it, keeps the flyaways away. I have it in my hair right now. I can still run my fingers through it. It's got this like amazing vanilla smell that like for me it just reminds me of my wedding so whenever I smell it 
probably gonna get high off of this whenever I smell it. I just think of Vegas and my wedding and how much fun I had. So I love this stuff. Definitely recommend this. You can pick it up at Ulta. You don't have to get it from Dry Bar. Again, it's like a little bit more expensive than I would typically like to pay for something like this, but trust me, it's totally, totally worth it. And my last beauty favorite for this month is this Tree Hut Watermelon Shea Sugar Scrub. Say that five times fast. I picked this stuff up to use in another video that is coming soon. So I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this, but I wanted to mention it because it's summertime. We're wearing shorts, we're wearing dresses, we're shaving our legs. Well, I'm not really shaving my legs. I'm married and I'm lazy. I feel like people spend a ton of money on exfoliants when they really don't need to. This was, I wanna say under $15, maybe even $10. I got it from Ulta. It smells just so good. This is the watermelon one. They have a couple different like scents or anybody remember early keeping up with the Kardashians when Kim lived in that condo and Rob was going to like move in with her and she was telling him the candles that he was allowed to use and she was calling them flavors. Like I like the pink flavor and the green flavor. How do we ever let that woman get famous? I don't know. Anyway, stuff is super inexpensive. It works great. I got a sunburn when I was at the beach a few weeks ago and my skin has been dry and peely ever since. This is totally been helping get rid of all that and it doesn't leave me with that like kind of like you know like rough like red feeling that you get sometimes when you exfoliate this stuff is so great if you're gonna buy this don't buy it from amazon if you look on amazon you're gonna see this same like brand and size and things it's gonna be priced at like 20 dollars go to ulta.com search for it if it's out of stock just do an email notification because you're gonna get it for way less from there and it's totally worth it all right moving on to the lifestyle section of this video my number one lifestyle favorite from this month is my peloton i'm gonna talk about it too much much because I did just make a video about it. If, if you're interested on my opinion, tips and tricks for, you know, us plus size girls on the Peloton, my first impressions, all that kind of stuff, I'll link that video down below. I did say in that video though that I would give you guys an update when the padded bike shorts that I ordered came. They did come. This is a, I'm just unboxing or unbagging a brand new pair right now because I didn't think you guys needed to see like my sweat marks. But these things have been so helpful <laughs> in the issue that I talked about in that Peloton video. The seat is just so hard and it hurts your tailbone and it hurts your frontal areas. It makes you not want to ride it because you're just like in pain. So I looked up some solutions and people recommended these bike shorts and now I'm going to recommend them to you as well. They have this padding in the crotchal area. This obviously goes on the butt area. This goes in the front area. Can't really tell when you're wearing them. I've been wearing these under other bike shorts or workout pants anyway, just for like a little extra added like something between my butt and the bike seat. But these shorts mixed with the gel seat cover that I got have totally fixed my problem. I've been doing a little bit of longer rides. I started out doing like the 15, 20 minute rides and I'm moving into like the 30 minute rides with the five minute warm up and cool down. So I I still get a little bit of like tailbone, not pain, but like soreness. But I think that's just from like having a big butt and the length that I'm sitting on the bike seat. But these are definitely helping. If you have a Peloton, if you have any kind of cycling bike, if you ride your bike outside for like exercise, I'll link these below. They're from Amazon, super inexpensive. They have helped my lady problem. For sure. All right, my next lifestyle favorite for this month is that big ugly black thing behind me. I don't know why it took us so long, us being me and John, my husband, to buy air purifiers, but we finally did. I mean, like we have three cats that I'm allergic to and their hair and dander is just floating around and I've just been living in that for how long have I had my cats? Five years. We finally bought air purifiers. We ordered these ones on Amazon. We got three of them. One lives here on my side of the bed. One lives in the living room and one lives in our office area in between our desks. Oh my goodness. They have been just such a life changer. If nothing other than like the cat hair alone, I used to get so allergic sitting on my couch. Like if one of my cats came up to me and I was petting them, the hair in the air all around me, red eyes, I would sneeze constantly. These things have helped so much. I do still sneeze. I'm a little bit sniffly today. I'm not gonna say they are like 100% effective against you know, your pet allergies, but they have totally helped. Again, not super expensive. I think they were about $60 each. Not really pretty, but they're not really ugly and they do the job. So I'm happy with them. My last lifestyle favorite of this month is this get shit done to-do list. This is so basic and so easy. I just got this on Amazon. List your stuff, check marks, couple things, don't forget. I have been so just like spacey since I quit my job and started working 
working from home, trying to keep everything that I need to do together. I've never been a to-do list person. I've never needed a to-do list for like the kind of jobs that I was doing. Now that I'm at home and I, now I'm home and the first couple like days, even the first couple weeks, it felt like, oh, like I'm home. I have all this time during the day. I'll get so much done. And without having a list, I was not getting anything done because yeah, sure, I have all day, but I've got YouTube videos to film. I've got things to edit. I've got schoolwork to do. I've got to help John with his business. I've got stuff to do around the house. Honestly, you can get a to-do list anywhere. I just like this cute one because it says get shit done and it makes me feel motivated. I become one of those people that write something on my to-do list just to check it off. If you're just a simple, like smooth-brained, simple person like I am, <laughs> this is a really great option. Like everything else, it'll be linked down below. Next up is the fashion section. My first favorite of this month is these nose rings. This looks like a drug bag. These nose rings <laughs> that I bought on Amazon. I've had my nose pierced since I was 14. I went through a phase where I didn't wear my nose rings because I wasn't allowed to wear them at work, so I just never put them in. I realized a few weeks ago that I don't work in an office anymore. I'm an adult, I can do what I want. I wanna wear my nose rings again. So I ordered this pack. I think it came with like 16 or 20 of them off of Amazon and I love them. All of my piercing like holes are super sensitive. So I have to be really careful about what I actually, you know, put in my piercings. These ones were super inexpensive and they don't bother me at all. I've had this in for days straight. I haven't even had an itch or redness. I love that it comes with a bunch of different ones as well because you have your nose pierced, you know, like unless you have like the super expensive, like ones that you get from like the piercer, they fall out. They fall out when you're sleeping, they fall out when you're showering, they fall out when you blow your nose and you can't find them again because they're teeny tiny. So these ones are a super great value because you get a lot for your money. I already lost one and I have a ton more. I love them. Next up are these plain cotton black Hanes bike shorts. I cannot take credit for this one. This was all my friend Taylor. She's the blonde one in my Ocean City vlog video. She recommended these to the group chat. They are fantastic. These, This is a brand new pair that I just pulled out. I'm wearing a pair right now. They are like $7, okay? And they're Hanes, so they're super high quality. I've worn them to work out in. I've worn them around the house. I'm wearing a pair right now down below. <laughs> I'm still here for the bike shorts thing. I mean, it's 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 leggings for summertime. I mean, why would you not like that? These particular ones are great for working out, for lounging around the house, for sleeping in. And again, they're $7. Every time I've gone on Amazon since I bought my first pair of these, I just throw another one in my cart and order another pair because they're just that good. So thank you, Taylor, for giving me this blessing of these Hanes black bike shorts. And my last fashion favorite of May are these Gucci slides that I picked up. I wanted a pair of Gucci slides forever, but I was always like, why would I spend like almost $400 on some plastic? Whatever, I finally did it. And I bought these ones. They have the Gucci pattern. Let me show you. They have the Gucci pattern with the in bloom. Oh my God, they're so super cute. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't able to wear them at first because I have wide feet and they didn't quite fit. I did the old trick of filling a plastic sandwich bag with water, stuffing it in here and putting them in the freezer. That helped, so now they are actually wearable. I just think they're so pretty. They are a step up from the Old Navy flip-flop. As chuggy as they are, I still have Old Navy flip-flops. But these are definitely an upgrade from those. They are super comfortable. And unbeknownst to me when I ordered these, not only did they come in this beautiful box like look at this gorgeous absolutely gorgeous right so not only did they come in this beautiful box I ordered them online I have no idea why but Gucci also sent me this free tote bag like I just spent $75 at the clinic counter it's a little wrinkly because I use it as at the beach as like a beach bag so I had to wash the sand out of it so like it was in better condition when I first unboxed it but like what that was so nice. I had no idea that they were gonna give me like a tote bag. It says like Gucci.com in here. Did you guys know they were doing this? I mean, to be fair, I haven't ordered online from Gucci in a while, but like what a nice touch that was. Thank God, totally worth the $400 plastic shoe set I ordered from them. And you guys know it wouldn't be a monthly favorite video if I didn't share it with you, my favorite handbag of the month. It is, of course, I'm on a Gucci kick. It is my Gucci fanny pack. This is just the perfect summer bag. It's hands-free, you fit just the essentials in it. Super cute with your shorts, outfits, the white color. It's just, this bag just screams summer to me. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna be my June, July, August favorite bag. <laughs> well, I 
said it before, I'll say it again, the bum bag is here to stay and if it's not, I don't care. Call me a chew, call me out of style. I'm gonna stay rocking the fanny packs. Chicken also loves this bag. She is a Gucci girl, for sure. When I leave my stuff out, she always gravitates towards the Gucci. Don't you babies. She loves Gucci. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's monthly favorites video. I know I enjoyed making it. I don't know why. I just really like sharing like the stuff that I've been using a lot with you guys. They're some of my favorite videos to watch as well. So I had a really good time making it. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the order that I mentioned it. I would love for you to share some of your favorites with me in the comments down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, ring my bell, join me back here. And that's all I got. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.